Quantizer is a robotic rehabilitation therapy system that simultaneously moves all four limbs in an active or passive therapeutic motion. By having consistent, constant, and repetitive movements, the Quadricizer can help reprogram the brain by creating new neurons to move in ways that was not previously possible. This can help cerebral palsy by improving motor skills, muscle tone, range of motion, crawling, walking, speech, coordination such as drinking out of a cup, bowel movements, and bladder function. The Quadricizer can also help improve balance and can aid in straightening scissors gait with knee crossing. Movement equals improvement, and the Quadricizer gives you therapeutic movement gently gain without pain you like it yeah i mean you have to have four people yeah doing that to, to try to that's replicate that movement this is too high no that's not too high oh it's not too high okay look at those arms what you're just seeing well i mean obviously he <laughs> get his arms up that high that's amazing. Look how straight. Is that big? Yeah, that's big. It is. Straight before you took work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now then, keep your feet apart a little bit. Now that's better. Look, yeah, see, he's not right. stepping on his toes now. Yeah, his toes aren't turned in. Yeah, his toes are not turned in like they were. Look at that. He's yeah, stepping there's no straight. Scissoring at all. No. And I was having to hold here to help support, mm -hmm. and I'm barely. Oh, that's awesome. Look, yeah. at, look at that step. I'm just hard. That's much better than I would have thought. Yeah. You I'm just never got He's pulling me a lot, but I'm seeing that there's no scissor. Before he's, he was here, stepping on his toes. Yeah, he was stepping on his toes. Yeah. Look at that. Not at all. But he's not scissoring too much, is he? Zero. Zero. And yeah, normally, when I say scissor, normally he's like. It's like this. That. Mm -hmm. no, no, I and just then made, this step is hard that. because this mm -hmm. one's dragging yeah. to cross. Does that feel better? Yeah. Yeah, his crawl is a his, bunny hop. It's like a bunny hop. He would sit on his bottom and then he just does this hops. They say, though, the, the most thing similar to walking is a reciprocating crawling where mm -hmm. you know, your left hand, right knee, right hand, left knee. That's that. When you do that, the kid, little infants stand up and they walk after that. Cross so crawl he, pattern. Right. And that's what he was yeah. doing, wasn't he? And right. that's what that machine is doing. Normally he bunny hops. I mean, it's he needs to get to 1A point B fast. Mm -hmm. He's going bunny hop. Exactly. That's how he gets there. But what do you think? I feel less tight. Less, less tight. Muscles. Less tight. Less spastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell Rebecca is that if he was sitting in a chair at a desk or a table grabbing a juice box or a can of cola or something. Uh, he, he can't this, this he has no stability here, so, so that would you know, be a good he judge. can't that'd be a great mm -hmm. juice to see. And I think you see a little bit of the shaking now, yeah. normally he can never get it to his mouth. Mm -hmm. No, no, no way. Even in his wheelchair, sitting yeah, at a table. Yeah, sitting at a table with With, with his left hand mm -hmm. holding on to the table and with trying to, you know, a small he juice box. He had a support here, like a table. He could do it one-handed. Pretend like there's a table here. Yeah, see, that's huge. He could never do that. I mean, he can barely take a drink on his own now. It's become, because he, he puts his elbows on the table and he grabs the cup, <coughs> but then the minute he starts coming at his mouth, he, he's, he's afraid he's gonna fall. I just and the it. chair will scoot because he's pushing. It. He's afraid he's gonna spill it. <laughs> or at night during the night, he wakes up thirsty a lot and he can't, you know, he's mm -hmm. not comfortable. He's afraid he'll spill it in his bed. And we, yeah. we've tried different sippy cups and things like that. Look at that. <coughs> wow. That's good. That's very good. I've never been able to do all that stuff. Yeah, but I've never been able to raise my hands up. That high? Yes. Oh, emotional thing. You have a hammer. I've never been able to cross them like that. Cross your hands. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever done that. Back in there. So it feels good? Yes. Like when I walk, I don't scissor. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stand up again? You want to try it again then? Yeah, stand up. You're not scissoring. Your feet are straight, Sam. Mm -hmm. They are, look at the smile straight. on his the, face. The that is awesome, is Sam. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. Scissoring is a big thing. That's, what, yeah, that's what the first thing I Backed off on therapy just because of insurance purposes, and Sam had gotten really, really tight. And um, 
after about 45 minutes to an hour use yesterday, he uh, he stepped and walked. I mean, we brought him in, him scissoring really, really bad, and, and Karen and I helping him walk. And then uh, after about an hour, getting him off, I and mean, he just there were no scissoring at all, just perfect steps uh, all the way down your hallway. Uh, the crawling was better. Uh, he was there was no bunny hop crawling. The reciprocating crawling was really, really good. Um, the sitting and, and drinking uh, and being able to use his hands. I've been able to do that. You know, couldn't. Couldn't pick up a cup and drink without, you know, with the, the trunk support was very, very weak. Uh, yesterday, using, you know, various cups and spoons and stuff, it was, it was really, really neat to, to watch him do that after uh, just an hour use on it. Well, even uh, yesterday when we were taking him back to school, uh, my wife Kara said, "Look," and we turned around in the back of the car. And normally he struggles sitting up in his chair uh, if we go around a curve or something. Uh, we turned around, and looked, and he was. He was reaching back to the other seat, trying to get the remote uh, for the little DVD player in the car. Uh, so just his overall body awareness and trunk support was really, really good. And, and even carrying over today, uh, you know, it's, there's still residual from it. So we're anxious to use it again today just to see how we can keep building on it.